There's a 2-2 from Gallen on the inside corner for a cold strike three. One batter and one strikeout for Gallen as he continues to mow batters down. Miller had the game-winning hit Saturday. That was in the 10th inning. Swings at this 1-2 and lines it out to right field. And Salpitro drops it. He had it in the glove and then dropped it. They plan on using that speed all season long to their benefit. Miller fakes like he's going. This one hit into right field, and it's going to drop in front of Salpitro. Miller has to hold up at second, but the Tar Heels get the first two batters aboard here in the bottom of the first inning. Here's the 2-0 pitch, hit on the ground towards the second baseman. Tracy to Gethings for one, the throw high, and it gets over Crispino. Coming in from third is going to be Miller, as Crispino still has trouble getting that one over behind first base. May only get a run or two of support, as that one's going to catch the outside corner. Second strike out of the game for Gallen. Here's the 0-2, a breaking ball, gets him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start off the second, and Gallen has got three as there are two down here in the top of the second inning. There's the pitch on the inside corner. Nice fastball there from Gallen as it freezes Salpitro for the fourth strikeout of the game. And has reached base in all seven games this year for North Carolina. And make it eight as he's going to hit that one in the gap, looking for two as he rounds first and is going to be in with a double to lead things off here in the fourth. You know he can go deep into a game. Nobody down in that bullpen. As the 1-1 hit on the ground, it's going to get by a diving blind. One run is going to come in as Tyler Lynn puts the Tar Heels up 2-0. Ryan stretching it into a double. A 1-2. Swung on and missed as Gallon gasses that one up and blows it by Radzewicz. Taking off from first was Archiolo. That'll keep the double play out of order, but a nice play from Datris who dives to his left and will get Tracy at first base for the second out. In the North Carolina lineup as Lynn hits the first pitch into right field. Going back is Sal Petro. He is jumping and can't make the catch at the fence. It gets away from him as Lynn rounds second. He heads for third, and he's going to be in there with a leadoff triple. There's the 0-2 from Gallen, and it's in there for a called strike three. Here's the payoff pitch on the outside corner called strike three. The count is two and two. Williams missed with that fastball. Blows that one by him, though, for his second strikeout, the eighth by a Tar Heel pitcher today. Here's the payoff. This one hit down to third base. Blinn fields it. He holds Miller. The throw not is going to be in time. Here comes Miller, and he's safe. He gets around the tag. The Tar Heels tie it up. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Fastball blown right by him. Three pitches to get the strikeout. In a third, no runs. And John Signor gave up two runs as Ryan makes a diving play at first. Here's the payoff pitch, and it is hit into right center field. And that one is going to drop. Ramirez is on his horse. He's looking for two. Here comes the throw, and Ramirez is in safely. A two-out double for Tyler. Here's the 0-2 to Lynn, and that one's going to hit him. A mistake from Hart. Roberts not squaring around, rips this one down the third base line. The third baseman, Blind, has come in. Coming first to third as the throw is not going to be in time. He was the hero Sunday for North Carolina as he had the two-run single that won the game in the ninth for North Carolina over Oklahoma State. He comes up with nobody out and the base is loaded. Here's the payoff pitch and it's over the head. It's going to be a walk and the Tar Heels are going to walk off again. This time it is by a walk, but UNC gets the 4-3 to three win and they win their sixth in a row.